evening and welcome to the 106th annual commencement ceremony of Dunkirk High School. Buenas noches y bienvenida a la 165 ceremonia de graduación de la escuela secundaria de Dunkirk. As a friendly reminder, I ask that you please silence your cell phones out of respect for the graduating class of 2023. Un recordatorio amable que por favor pongan en silencio sus celulares como respeto a la clase graduanda del 2023. Now please rise and remain standing for the presentation of colors by Dunkirk's JROTC Ahora por favor pónganse de pie y manténgase de pie para publicar los colores del JROTC de Dunkirk. And for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the performance of our national anthem by Lee. Y para el juramento la bandera por Juan Z. Thomas, seguido por la presentación del himno nacional por Leah Pollock. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ooh, oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light was so proudly we twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous night o'er the land parts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's Por favor, tomen asientos. Good evening. Buenas noches. It is my pleasure to welcome our Board of Education members. Es mi placer darle una bienvenida 
and nuestros miembros del Comité de Educación Educativo. Administration. La administración. Staff. El personal. Families. Las familias. And most importantly, y lo más importante, our graduates, nuestra clase graduanda, to the Dunkirk High School 2023 graduation ceremony. A la ceremonia de graduación de la escuela secundaria de Dunkirk 2023. I am Mike Mansfield, superintendent of the Dunkirk City School District. Soy Mike Mansfield, the superintendent del distrito escolar de la ciudad de Dunkirk. I would like to congratulate the class of 2023. Me gustaría felicitar a la clase del 2023. Each of you has completed the requirements to graduate from Dunkirk High School. Cada uno de ustedes han completado los requisitos para graduarse de la escuela secundaria de Dunkirk. Despite the many challenges presented by a worldwide pandemic. A pesar de los retos presentados por una pandemia mundial. Be proud of yourselves. Tengan orgullo. Your families. Sus familias, teachers, maestros, coaches, entrenadores, and community y comunidad certainly are. Lo están. It is an honor and privilege for me to celebrate you here tonight. Es un honor y privilegio para mí celebrarlos esta noche. Congratulations. Enhorabuena. I would like to begin by thanking all the people that prepared for tonight's event. Me gustaría comenzar con darle las gracias a las que prepararon evento de esta noche. This includes our graduation committee that consisted of Esto incluye nuestro comité de graduación que consiste de Ms. Rebecca Farwell, Mr. Adam Hernandez, Ms. Catherine Rivera Rodriguez, Ms. Charmaine Moreland, Ms. Lynn Kokachinsky, Ms. Lori Barbrich, and Mr. Connor Atchison, as well as the counseling department, el departamento de consejería, custodial staff, personal de limpieza, board of education, miembro de la junta, administration, administración, and faculty and staff. Y miembro de la facultad y personal. Thank you to Ms. Miriam Lugo Alfaro for providing translation. Gracias a la señora Miriam Lugo Alfaro por asistir en la traducción. And finally, y finalmente, thank you to class advisors. Muchas gracias a los consejeros de la clase, Ms. Jennifer Lancaster and Ms. Charmaine Moreland for all of the time and effort you put into planning, por todo el esfuerzo que pusieron en planificar, and executing all of the senior festivities, y llevar a cabo todas las festividades del último año. A special Willkommen zu Haus, which is German for welcome home to Grace Say. Una bienvenida a la casa en alemán a Grace Say. Grace, who speaks French, Spanish, Chinese, and now German, Grace, que habla francés, español, chino, y ahora alemán, is a world traveler es una trotamundos, who spent the last year in a German high school la cual pasó este año en una en alemán, and is going back there in five weeks to attend college. Y regresa ya en cinco semanas para asistir a la universidad. En este momento, voy a dejar de traducir esta parte es dedicada a la clase graduanda. The class of 2023 is a group that I have become very close with over the years. I met most of you as students in my seventh grade health class. When you were in eighth grade, I was assigned to your lunch supervision. I still remember setting up karaoke on Fridays in the cafeteria. You could always count on Heron Frazier, Justin Waller, and Tate and Druniak to perform. At the end of your eighth grade year, I made the tough decision to leave my middle school family and to follow you to the high school. We were freshmen together. I got to watch you grow into the successful young men and women that are seated in front of me today. We spent the past six years together, so to say that it'll be weird not having you here in the fall is an understatement. Now the purpose of my speech is not to be sappy, but rather to celebrate you and highlight all of the great things you did during your senior year. So here it goes. First, a special shout out to Tyler Smith, who is a technology guru and always willing to fix his teacher's tech problems. Also, Ms. Moreland would like to recognize Lorenzo Lewis, who spent so much time visiting her. He's got a fan club. 
so much time vis visiting her this year that he became an unofficial member of the social worker department. Ms. Moreland is going to miss you, Lorenzo, as you were part of her daily routine. She is now accepting applications for the assigned seat you had there and space in the refrigerator that you were allotted. This year's senior class had an impressive 21 students receive the seal of biliteracy from New York State. This class also has some very talented musicians. Angelina Petey was evaluated at the Nisma Music Festival and had such a high score that she was selected as an elite musician in Zone 1 of New York State and earned a place in Senior High Allstate. She also earned a level 6 score of 97 out of 100 when performing at NISMA on the French horn. Senior members of the high school concert band won a Silver Distinction Award after their high-level performance at NISMA Majors. Finally, those of you who were lucky enough to catch a performance of Susical the Musical were entertained with a great show led by seniors Megan Yuriko, Leah Pavlak, and Jonathan Rivera. The cultural diversity of our school was and will continue to be celebrated when a group led by seniors Rafael Cruz, Giuliani Gonzalez, Lily Pagan, Andrea Negron, Natalia Negron, Janice Gonzalez, and Andrea Morales designed and created a mural featuring American, Puerto Rican, Mexican, and Guatemalan cultural symbols. Other artistically talented seniors leaving our hallways with beautifully done murals are Noami Munoz, Kaylee Moran, and Rafael Cruz. The list of athletic achievements for the class of 23 is impressive. In the fall, Sierra Jaquis made the front page of the Observ Observer as her accomplishments as the varsity football kicker were celebrated. The senior heavy varsity volleyball team had an exciting win over rival Fredonia, as well as a playoff victory. The boys' varsity soccer team won a playoff game when senior Brady Corbett scored late to tie the game at one, which sent the contest into overtime. Brady played hero once more when his shootout goal iced the win for Dunkirk. In the winter, our senior girls' varsity basketball players earned a victory over Fredonia. Wrestler Jaden Robb had a thrilling victory as he pinned his opponent from Maple Grove in his last varsity wrestling match. Jordan Batista took fifth place in the Class B Wrestling Championship and sixth place in the Section 6 Tournament. The seniors on our boys' basketball team celebrated their senior night by defeating Silver Creek. Lorenzo Lewis and Kwanye Thomas were chosen to compete in the Chautauqua County Exceptional Senior All-Star Game. In bowling, Taylor Skelly led her team to a CCAA County Roll-Off title while the unified bowling team won a second straight Section 6 title led by Jaden Robb, Tyler Karen, and Brady Corbett. Jordan Lockett won the 300-meter dash at the Section 6 Class B and C Interdivisional Indoor Track Meet and also in the 4x4 relay that won a Section 6 track title and 16th place overall at the state meet. And now for the Adam Fred portion of the highlight speech. Honestly, we will be here until midnight if I list all of Adam's accomplishments in the pool this year. He will go down as one of the most accomplished athletes to walk the halls of Dunkirk High School. Adam leaves Dunkirk with a whopping nine school records. He took first in the 100 meter backstroke at counties and finished second in the 50 meter freestyle. He qualified for and competed in the state, comp state competition where he took sixth in the 100 meter freestyle. Adam committed to Southern Connecticut State University where he will continue his decorated swimming career. In the spring, history was made when seniors Sierra Jaquis, Alyssa Salerno, Courtney Zatorski, Emily Pacheco, Gracie Kenner, Emma Yacklin, Laura, Lauren Cochran, Anna Rodriguez, and Taylor Skelly formed the school's first ever girls flag football team and led their team to its first ever victory over Depew. In baseball, Tyler Karen's const constant leadership and clutch play led to the observer nicknaming him Captain Karen. Captain Karen's pitching and Brady Corbett's grand slam led their team to a dominant home victory over Fredonia. Tyler Brady and Wally Morales also led their team to two playoff victories and just missed out in playing for a sectional title. In track and field, 
Jordan Lockett was at it again, leading his 4x4 team to a spot on the school record board and to a sectional championship and state championship trip where they finished sixth. Finally, Adam Fred competed in his first ever triathlon and unsurprisingly won his age bracket. I enjoyed personally getting to watch the senior dynamic duo of Brennan Mead and Jeremy Gonzalez Ortiz compete in tennis doubles throughout the season. Finally, Alyssa Salerno and Angelina Petey were chosen to play in the Section 6 Softball Senior All-Star Game, where both players finished the game with a hit. Don't forget all the fun, ev fun events that happened this year. The senior ladies defeated the, jun the juniors in the Fall Powder Puff Football Game. The first ever Teachers vs. Students Thunderdome contest took place. A combination of student cheating and Courtney Zatorski dominating the event's microphone led to a student self-proclaimed victory. We got to see your moves during our two homecoming dances in annu annual prom at Fredonia State. We had a blast on the senior tubing trip to Peak and Peak. Eric Vega also taught us a valuable lesson on why you should never go tubing without a shirt on as there is a chance you could fall out of your tube and ice isn't always as smooth as it appears. There was a senior field day that turned into the senior water war. This past was busy with senior sweep, senior dinner, and class night. Each of you was adopted by a faculty member as part of our Adopt-a-Senior adopt program. A special shout out to my adopted seniors, Kiera Seiler, Michaela Schaefer, and Kaylee Moran. In closing, I would like to thank whoever the seniors were that hid hundreds, if not thousands, of these cards randomly around the school. The cards read, Class of 2023, you're never getting rid of us. I know I will smile over the next few years as I stumble upon these cards and will be reminded of a class that meant so much to me. Thank you. Good evening. It is my great honor to stand before you today to introduce our remarkable salutorian, Jessica Navarro. This year's salutorian is a young lady who is a member of the National Honor Society and Spanish Honor Society. I met her sophomore year during COVID, but really got to know her in the last two years with Prilot. That's when I realized what a remarkable young lady she is determined, passionate, inquisitive, overcomer. She embodies the, wo the words, si sí se puede. Eres hermosa y una obra maestra creada por Dios nunca olvides tu valor. This fall, Jessica will be attending JCC and then transferring to University of Buffalo where she'll be majoring in aerospace engineering. It is my honor to introduce to you the class of 2023 salutorian Jessica Navarro. As we gather here this afternoon, I want to welcome the friends, family, staff, and students of Dunkirk High School, and thank all of you for being here. Today, we gather to celebrate our accomplishments and our journey through elementary school, middle school, and finally, high school. Before anything else, I want to convey my deepest appreciation to our exceptional teachers and dedicated staff. Often unknown to them, they have wielded a profound influence making high school experience not only bearable, but also more manageable. One of those teachers for me was my ninth grade geometry teacher, Mr. Morrison. He would always share his life lessons derived from his interactions with students. 
Among many of those stories, there was one that always stuck to me, out to me. It was a story about a student who would consistently doze off during Mr. Morrison's class. Frustrated by her continuously falling asleep and therefore falling behind in his class, he woke her up by forcefully slamming a book on her desk. Instantly, she awoke, her anger directed squarely at him. It was then that Mr. Morrison discovered and learned more about her life. He had always just assumed she fell asleep in his class due to her lack of interest, assuming that his classroom was the only place she could find enough peace to finally be able to sleep after a long Mr. Morrison's mistaken assumption see that full student. Throughout my life, I have been faced with numerous instances that could have been averted had it, been for the, had it not been for the ignorance of certain individuals. As a first generation student from an immigrant family, I have often experienced a sense of not fully belonging. There have been various situations where I felt out of place or misunderstood. There are two instances that I very clearly remember. One of those was a couple years ago. I was around 12 years old and was in the library with a couple of my classmates. We were talking about an upcoming trip that we would be going on and the topic of passports came up. I had mentioned how, how my one classmate said something along the lines of, well, yeah, you, well, yeah. I had mentioned how I had one, and he said something along the lines of, well, yeah, you need one, for you know. I was confused about what he was talking about until it hit me. He assumed I had a green card, even though I was born in California. In so many instances, I was made to feel inadequate due to someone else's ignorance. I always based my intelligence off of how much more I knew than my classmates did. My thought process was that if I knew more than them, then that meant that I was as smart or even smarter than they were. Now, I see that it's not really true. I can know everything there is in the world, but not know how to use it in my life. How, so how smart could I really be if I couldn't really use what I know? Mr. Morrison never forced learning upon us, but rather nurtured and encouraged us, allowing us to grow naturally. I firmly believe that through the pursuit of knowledge, we illuminate the darkness of ignorance that clouds our minds. Learning becomes a key that unlocks the door to understanding, compassion, and most importantly, empathy. It is through education that we can transform our journeys and shed our prejudices and our preconceived notions of one another. Today, as we start the next chapter of the rest of our lives, let us express our gratitude to those who have guided us, supported us, and shared in our triumphs and setbacks. Together, we have to overcome so much, first with COVID, then remote learning, but now we have, both grown, we have grown both academically and personally. As we embark on our new chapters, let us remember to never let ignorance get in the way of our success, to never assume to always empathize and to approach each person's story with an open mind. Finalmente, le quiero dar mil gracias a mi madre, la mujer que sacrificó todo por mí para asegurarse de que siempre tuviera todo lo que necesitaba. Me creó como madre soltera, pero se aseguró de que nunca sintiera que necesitaba a, otra, a otro padre en mi vida. Ella compensó por lo que yo no tenía en la vida. Cuando lloré, ella compartió los mismos dolores que yo. Y cuando logré algo, compartió mis felicidades. Estoy muy agradecida de tenerla en mi vida. Ella es la única persona que siempre está velando por mis mejores intereses. Por ella, estoy aquí esta noche y le agradezco mucho por eso. In the end, may our collective achievements serve as a testament to our indestructible spirits, inspiring generations to come. Thank you, and may we continue to expand our learning and our views on the world. Would the parent of Jessica, Herminia Santiago, please stand and be recognized? Podrá la madre de Jessica, Herminia Santiago, por favor, ponerse de pie para ser reconocida. This year's valedictorian, Courtney Zatorsky, este año, la valedictorian Courtney Zatorsky 
is someone that I have known since she was a little kid. Es alguien que yo he conocido desde pequeña. I always knew she was smart. Yo siempre sabía que era inteligente. But when I had her as a student, Pero cuando la tuve como estudiante, I quickly learned she had a good chance of being her class's valedictorian. Rápidamente aprendí que ella tenía una buena oportunidad de ser la valedictorian de su clase. When I was a kid, cuando yo era chico, I always thought of a valedictorian, siempre pensé que un valedictorian, as someone who traded in all of the fun experiences of high school for studying. Como una persona que cambiaba todas las cosas divertidas para estudiar. Not Courtney. No Courtney. She is a great athlete. Ella es una atleta excelente. Who excelled at volleyball. Sobresalió en voleibol. Flag football. Fútbol americano de bandera. And of course softball. Y obviamente el softball. She served as a class officer. Ella sirvió como un oficial de su clase. And worked hard to provide her classmates with great experiences. Y trabajó fuertemente para proveer a sus compañeros de clase con una experiencia buenísima. This fall, Courtney will be attending Niagara University. Este otoño, Courtney va a asistir a la Universidad de Niagara. Where she will be majoring in business with a concentration in finance. Donde tomará la carrera en negocios y una concentración en finanzas. It is my honor to introduce to you the class of 2023 valedictorian Courtney Zatorsky. Es mi honor presentar la clase del 2023 valedictorian Courtney Zatorsky. Good evening, family, friends, and fellow classmates. I am so honored to be able to speak to you all tonight, but before anything, I want to say congratulations. Congratulations to my fellow graduates and to the parents and families here celebrating with us. This commencement ceremony marks the end of a journey that we will remember for the rest of our lives. We certainly had our ups and downs throughout the years, but right now, we are celebrating each other with gratitude. What we have accomplished is something to be extremely proud about. I would personally like to thank my parents for being my role models. Since I was a child, my dad has pushed me to be the best possible version of myself, and he is a big part of why I'm standing here today. And to my mom, <laughs> my best friend, my best friend and my biggest supporter. Thank you for every sacrifice you have made for me, not just when it comes to school, but also sports and life choices. Even if, some, even if sometimes I might ask too much of you, your willingness to provide for me, no matter what, hasn't gone unnoticed. I truly appreciate both of your love, support, and help throughout my high school years. I couldn't have done it without either of you. I've also had the pleasure of having some of the most amazing, talented, and kind friends anyone could ever ask for. You guys have made my experience here unforgettable, and I appreciate you more than you could ever know. <laughs> Every single one of us has had a unique high school experience. This night means something to everyone. Some may be relieved, feeling that this day couldn't have come soon enough. Others, like myself, might be experiencing a feeling of nostalgia as we look back on all of the memories and friends we made at the <laughs> <sighs> Oh, sorry. I stand here in front of you full of pride and excitement, yet also fear of what comes next. Similar to our experience during high school, we will all follow a different path after we leave, and that's okay. 
No matter what we choose to do with our futures, we will all be okay. For some, that future looks like traveling all over the world for a college education, while others will join the workforce, serve in the military, or continue being amazing parents to their children. No matter what we choose to do in these coming years, we have to take everything we have learned throughout our lives to this point and put it to work. We are adults now, going into the world on our own, and although may it be intimidating, if anyone can handle it, it's us. We are a new generation of smart, creative, and passionate individuals that have had experiences some people could never dream of. I've seen firsthand the work we put in to get to this point, and I'm so proud of us. We had a high school experience like no other, but here we are. No matter how bittersweet this moment might be, it is just a chapter in our metaphorical books of life, and as we all know, when one chapter ends, another begins. I hope this new chapter brings all of us excitement, happiness, and success. Congratulations again to the class of 2023. Parents of Courtney Zatorsky, please stand and Podrán los padres de Courtney, Steve y Kelly Zatorsky, por favor, ponerse de pie para ser reconocidos. It is now my honor to introduce your principal, Ms. Farwell. Ahora es mi honor introducirte a la directora, señora Farwell. Ms. Farwell has spent over 28 years in the field of education. La señora Farwell ha pasado más de 28 años en el campo de la educación. She is one of the hardest working people that I have ever met. Ella es una de las personas más trabajadoras que he conocido. All of her hard work is to ensure that our secondary students receive a rigorous education. Todo su trabajo es para asegurarse que nuestro estudiante de la escuela de la escuela secundaria reciban una educación rigurosa in a safe and inviting environment en un ambiente seguro y acogedor next year she will take on the role of director of curriculum el año que viene ella tomará la posición de directora de curriculum where she will have the ability to make a positive impact on all of our students in the district donde ella tendrá la habilidad para hacer un impacto positivo en todo nuestro estudiante en el distrito Though we will continue to work with her in her new role, Aunque continuaremos trabajando con ella en su nueva función, we will miss her leading the charge of the secondary building. La echaremos de menos al mando de la escuela secundaria. Ladies and gentlemen, your secondary principal, Ms. Rebecca Farwell. Señores y señoras, su directora de la secundaria, señora Rebecca Farwell. Good evening to the class of 2023. What a blessing it is to have such a beautiful night on our football field. It is also a blessing that I get one last chance to address you as a whole class before I declare you graduates this evening. In preparing for this evening, I was struggling with what I wanted to say. However, a recent conversation I had with a student just would not leave my mind. The student asked me how we could remember Rosaline Ayla Delgado, who passed away this past September. This past Tuesday, your class shared a beautiful tribute for Rosie during class night. This evening, I would like to frame my time with you around what I believe Rosie would want you to know if she could have crossed the stage this evening. Just like most of you, I met Rosie in 2017 when she was in the seventh grade. Rosie was full of energy and was a ray of sunshine, just like the sunflowers on this stage. Despite the difficulties that life presented her, there was never a day that I didn't see her smile, nor was there a day that she didn't give 100% towards her education. Her family, her friends, her faith, and her education were her whole world. She loved each of them dearly and appreciated what each brought to her life. Her life ended too soon. However, there are three things that I observed about her in her short life that I think she would want you to live by as you leave us at Dunkirk High School. Lesson number one, smile, just smile. A smile helps with optimism. It has been said that people who smile for optimism tend to have a more positive attitude and strive for success. 
Smiling is a universal language, and since smiling is contagious, it doesn't matter what language people speak. Lesson number two, never, ever give up. No matter our resolve, giving up can be easy. However, remember these wise words from Winston Churchill. You remember who he is, I hope, from history class. Never give up on something that you can't go a day without thinking about. Lesson number three, make the most of every moment. Oprah Winfrey is quoted as saying, living in the moment means letting go of the past and not waiting for the future. It means living your life consciously, aware that each moment you breathe is a gift. Class of 2023, you can pay tribute to Rosie each day by remembering that a smile is contagious and that with perseverance, you can make the most of every moment. My hope is that each of you will use these personality traits to guide your journey after graduation. Congratulations. At this time, I would like to welcome Mrs. Amy Corbett to the podium. En este momento, me gustaría darle la bienvenida a la señora Amy Corbett a la tarima. Mrs. Corbett is an ELA teacher here at Dunkirk High School, as well as head of the English department. Señora Corbett es una maestra de inglés aquí en la escuela secundaria y también la encargada del departamento de inglés. Mrs. Corbett will be announcing this year's winner of the Dunkirk Teacher Association Scholarship. Señora Corbett va a anunciar el ganador de la beca que la Asociación de Maestros de Dunker otorga. Good evening. I'm here to present the DTA scholarship to a student who has excelled in English in high school and has plans to pursue education at SUNY Oswego this fall. Education is a fantastic career to dedicate oneself to. And at this time, there are many opportunities for employment at college. I encourage others of you to consider teaching well. Therefore, on behalf of the Dunkirk Teachers Association, I would like to present our scholarship to this year's recipient, Megan Yuriko. Our next speaker, Para nuestro próximo orador, Alyssa Salerno, is someone I have grown very close to over the past few years. Alyssa Salerno is alguien que me ha llegado a ella en los últimos años. She is one of the most driven people I know. Ella es una de las personas más motivadas que he conocido. I admire the hard work and dedication she has shown in launching our unified sports program. Admiro lo trabajadora y dedicación que demostró en lanzar nuestro programa de deporte unificados. She has played a huge part in making those athletes' dreams come true. Ella, es una, un, ella ha jugado un papel integral en hacer los sueños de estos atletas una realidad. She provides this dedication while also being a top 10 student and all-star athlete. Ella provee esta dedicación mientras es una de los primeros 10 estudiantes en calificación y una atleta estelar. Alyssa will be attending Canisius College this fall, where she will major in animal behavior, ecology, and conservation. Alyssa en el otoño va a asistir al Colegio Canisius con la carrera de comportamiento de animales, ecología, y conservación. Please welcome the class of 2023 president, Alyssa Salerno. Por favor, denle la bienvenida a la presidenta de la clase del 2023, Alyssa Salerno. Good evening, friends, families, teachers, administrators, and of course, the class of 2023. I am so honored to have been our class president for the last three years. Before I start, 
I would like to thank all of the teachers and administrators for coming through for us the last four years. Without you all, we would not be standing here today. You all have helped us overcome a difficult four years. Therefore, I ask all the graduates to stand up and join me in giving all of our teachers and administrators a round of applause. <clears throat> to my classmates, this year we experienced a lot of lasts. Our last time stepping on that field, court, mat, track, or stage. Our last Friday night football game. Our last homecoming. Our last prom and so much more. The next thing we know, we will all be experiencing a lot of firsts no matter what the future holds. Whether you're going to college, getting a job, attending a trade school, joining the military, and so on. Drake once said, everybody dies, but not everybody lives. So my advice for all of us is to take that leap of faith. Do things that we are afraid of and make memories that will last a lifetime. Say yes to new experiences and step out of our comfort zone. We have made so many memories in the last four years and we made friends that we will never forget. We accomplished a lot since freshman year. We should never forget who we are or where we came from, but most importantly, we should never forget that we will always have an entire city behind us that will be supporting us every step of the way. Although we are all happy to be standing here today, we cannot help but feel sadness for someone who is not here with us. Rosaline, who preferred to be called Rosie, was a ray of sunshine when she entered a room. Her bubbly, optimistic personality was truly contagious. She had a smile that could brighten anyone's day. Rosie was only a part of the district for less than six years, but she left her mark on us. She demonstrated perseverance in the face of hardships, and she will forever be in our hearts. If everyone could join me in a moment of silence for Rosie. <clears throat> Before I send us off with some final words, I would like to thank my family for continuously supporting me the last 18 years. Thank you to my dad. who has always believed in me and helped me believe in myself. You have seen what I've been capable of since the day I was born. To my mom for showing me that no matter what happens, to keep my head up and stay strong. And because of you, I know that no matter what problems I face, I will always be okay. And to my sister, who has been my best friend and my backbone for the last 18 years, and who, al who always have my back over anyone else's. And lastly, to my friends who have, I wa who have watched grow into beautiful young ladies, the young adults the last four years, and who have, been, and who have the most pure hearts I have ever known. You all have filled my time here in high school with so many lifelong memories. One last time, I would like to address everyone that is here today and thank you all for the continuous support of the class of 2023. With the world we live in today, I want to leave everyone here tonight with three final words that I hope we all will carry with us when we leave. A family very dear to my heart lives by the words, because nice matters. And I think we all should live by those words. You never know what someone is going through or what they don't talk about out loud. And you never know who is struggling to keep, keep their life together. So you should always be nice because in this world, nice matters. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2023. Would the parents of Alyssa, Daniel, and Kimberly Salerno please stand to be recognized? Podrán los padres de Alyssa, Daniel y Kimberly Salerno, por favor, ponerse de pie para ser reconocidos. And now the moment we have all been waiting for. Y ahora el momento que todos hemos estado esperando. 
I would like to invite class advisors. Quisiera invitar a los consejeros de la clase graduanda. Miss Charmaine Moreland and Miss Jennifer Lancaster. Señora Charmaine Moreland y la señora Jennifer Lancaster. To the podium to read off the names. A la tarima para leer los nombres. As our Board of Education President, Mr. Kenneth Kozlowski presents our graduates with their diplomas. Y el Presidente del Comité Educativo presenta los graduando con su diploma. Courtney Zatorski. Okay. Jessica Navarro. Kyler Hules. Angelina Petey. Grace Say. Alyssa Salerno. Jeremy Gonzalez Ortiz. Isabella Vasquez. Isabel Vasquez. Catherine Earing. Tyler Smith. She's supposed to come over here, get the cell attention. She's supposed to come over here, Martinez. Can Rosel Martinez come to the podium? Rosel Martinez will be presenting her daughter, Rosel Afaro, with her diploma. Tyler Smith. Vassell Afaro. Nida Almastica. Jesse Alvarez Batista. <laughs> Divi Andahar Jr. Makaya Anthony. Christopher Barreto. Mariah Bautista. Jordan Bautista. Cruz. Austin Bennett.
Liliana Bendecourt. Aurora Britton. Janess Burgos. Valerie Burgos. Brianna Casey. Jaden Chudy. Lauren Cochran. Josdiel Collazo Melendez. Charianis Colón Padilla. Ian Cooley. Brady Corbett. Brendan Crowell. Rafael Cruz Barrios. London Davis. Gianna Devalle. <laughs> Julian De Palma. Hayden Druniak. Mia Echeverria. <laughs> Zachariah Ferris. Anthony Figueroa. Felipe Figueroa. Genesis Figueroa. Brandom Flores. Haran Frazier Jr. Julia Frazita. Adam Fred. Octavia Fred. Angel Gautier. Jacob Galowski. Michelle Nazinski. Janice Gonzalez Marrero.
Julianis Gonzalez Ortiz. Jose Gonzalez Ortiz. Luis Gutierrez. Alyssa Hallmark. Ashton Hallmark. Jaden Harris. Brandon Hernandez. <laughs> Justin Jaques is going to be presenting his sister Sierra Jaques with her diploma. Tyler, sorry, Tyler Jaques. Tamia Johnson. You keep coming down. Mm. Tyler Karen. <laughs> Gracie Kenner. <laughs> Zachary Kylie. Harlem King. Kristen Lemansky. You're welcome. Congratulations. Congratulations. William Lewandowski. Abriella Lewis. Lorenzo Lewis. Lorenzo. <laughs> Jordan Lockett. Chantel Lugo. Kevin Lugo Lugo. Haley Maines. Laisha Lee Massinet Rivera. Dominic Mangus. Brennan Mead. Crystal Mischewski. Haiti Montesino. Andrea Morales. 
Yeah. Waldemar Morales. <laughs> Ricardo Morales Martinez. Kaylee Moran. Kayan Mosley. Noami Munoz. Quantier Nealer. Andrea Negron Figueroa. <laughs> Natalia Negron Figueroa. Luis Nunes. Rosilian Ortiz. Julissi Ortiz. Xavier Ortiz Gomez. I'll do these two we gotta get angry in there. Madison Osman. <laughs> Emily Pacheco. Agner Elise Pagan Mendez. <laughs> Leo Pollock. <laughs> Nicholas Passell. Gabriel Ramos Rivera. <laughs> Braden Reading. <laughs> Isabel Reynolds. Jonathan Rivera. William Rivera. <laughs> Zalisa Rivera. Yanitza Rivera Cruz. Jaden Rob Carlos Robles Anadayan Rodriguez Malachi Roland. Yeah. 
Angel Rosa Cruz. Felix Rosario. Maya Rasplak. Suhey Salazar. Gianna Santiago. Ruben Santos. Michelle Sack. Odalise Serrano. Kiera Seiler. Michaela Schaefer. Brandon Shepherd. You're so cold. Noah Sykes. Taylor Skelly. Paris Smith. Megan Soto. Adriana Sutton. Zachary Tabor. Kwanye Thomas. Joe Torres. Kenneth Vargas. Eric Samuel Vargas Guzman. Angel Vasquez. Anastasia Vega. Eric Vega. Justin Waller. Tiana Warrior. Xavier Warrior. Trenton Williams. Emma Yaklin. Yeah. 
Megan Yerko. Christopher Zastro. Superintendent Mansfield, it is my pleasure and honor to present to you the June graduates of 2023. Es mi placer y honor presentar los graduando de junio del 2023. I hereby certify I hereby certify certifico that these students que estos estudiantes have completed han completado all academic requirements established. Todos los requisitos académicos establecidos. By the Dunkirk City School District and the New York State Board of Education. Por el distrito de la escuela de Dunkirk y el comité educativo del estado de Nueva York. Each student has earned their regent's diploma. Cada estudiante ha logrado su diploma de regente. I would like to invite to the stage the spirit of the DHS winners to help turn tassels. En este momento vamos a invitar a un estudiante a frente para la bola del birete. A long-standing tradition here at Dunkirk High School is to have the Spirit of DHS award winners come up to the stage to join me in leading our graduates and turning the tassels. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our Spirit of DHS award winners, Tyler Karen, Brady Courtney, or Brady Corbett, Courtney Zatorski, and Alyssa Salerno. Who's gonna, who's gonna leave it? Congratulations to the class of 2023. It is now time to turn your tassels on the count of three. One, two, three. Who's starting the class? Thank you, Ms. Farwell, Brady, Tyler, Courtney, and Alyssa. Gracias, Señora Farwell, Brady, Tyler, Alyssa, and Courtney. Y Courtney. Today's closing remarks Los comentarios de cierre hoy come from a gentleman vienen de un caballero who is a welcome new addition, que es una addition muy bienvenida here in the Dunkirk City School District. Aquí en el Distrito Escolar de Dunkirk. His role the last two years has been house principal of the 7th and 8th grade. Su posición en los últimos dos años fue la del director de los grados 7 y 8. During this time, he has earned the respect and trust of both his students and his staff. Durante este tiempo, se ha ganado el respeto y confianza de ambos sus estudiantes y su facultad. As he leads with fairness and consistency. Mientras él dirige con equidad y consistencia. We are all excited for him as he transitions to his new role of secondary principal next year. Estamos emocionado por él mientras se transiciona a su nueva posición de director de la escuela secundaria. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Adam Hernandez. Señores y señora, por favor, denle la bienvenida al señor Adam Hernandez. Good evening. No. Good evening. No. no, and buenas noches <laughs> to the to the families of the graduates. A la familia de los graduados. I would like to say thank you. Me gustaría darle las gracias for the support 
and determination you have shown to get your children to this point. Por el apoyo y la determinación que han demostrado con sus hijos hasta llegar a este punto. I hope that moving forward, y espero que en el futuro, you continue this support, usted continúe con este apoyo, while also challenging your child to obtain the success that is waiting for them. Mientras que el, al mismo tiempo reta a su hijo para obtener el éxito que le espera. Their futures are bright and full of opportunity. Sus futuros son brillantes y llenos de oportunidades. My message to you is to remain strong. Mi mensaje a ti es que te mantenga fuerte. In your commitment to their futures now and every day moving forward. En tu compromiso a sus futuros ahora y cada día hacia adelante. To the students, I was never technically your principal. Um, I was assistant principal for many of you, but I've gotten to know a lot of you along the last few years. These right now are your last few moments as a high school student here at Dunker. Soon you will turn, walk off this field, and on to the next chapter of your lives. But before that happens, I want you to stop and think of a memory from your time here at Dunkirk High School. Maybe it's laughing with friends in the lunchroom, the hallway, or in class. Maybe it's a memory of a favorite teacher, a, gr a great grade on a difficult test, a field trip, musical for performance. Maybe it's zooming from a class from your bedroom, sporting event, times before or after school. Maybe it's yesterday when we practice graduation in the rain. It's possible that you can't think of just one memory. If you're having trouble, let your memory be this right now, sitting on the field, waiting for me to stop talking so that you can throw your hat in the air and get out of here. Whatever the memory may be, when you look back on your high school career, remember the good. That building behind you is your school. It belongs to you now. It will belong to you forever. You are home here. And as you leave to go on to achieve all the greatness that is before you, remember one thing. Be undeniable in your pursuit of the future that you deserve. Thank you. And congratulations to the class of 2023. Audience, please rise for the retiring of the colors. Audiencia, por favor, póngase de pie para retirar los colores. Mission granted.
Okay, we have one more item of business to take care of before we end with our recessional march. Brady, Tyler, Courtney, and Alyssa, would you return to the stage to lead the traditional tossing of the cap? Brady, Corby, Tyler, Karen, regresarán a la tarima para hacer la tradición de tira el birete. Thank you for coming out and supporting us tonight, and congratulations to the class of 2023. I just like to say, just take the cap off, put it in the air, and throw it! Thank you. This time, in este momento, I would like to ask that all parents and audience members stay in their seated area. Le pedimos que se queden en sus asientos until all graduates, faculty, and staff have passed the bell. Hasta que el último graduado, la faculty y el personal hayan pasado la campana. Please be sure to pick up your closeout packet, which will be in the reverse alphabetical order on the tables in front of the high school main entrance. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Gracias por adelantado por su cooperación.
My trophies, some are loyal soldiers while these other thorns are rosy. And if you never know who you can trust, then trust me, you'll be lonely. Oh, are you ready for the sequel? Ain't you ready for the latest in the garden of evil? I'm gonna be the greatest in a golden cathedral.
spent all of our time outside all day Doing whatever we like our way Didn't need a wall to build a new space Every moment just came together like two feet Hanging in the water, a few trees Stood a little taller, new breeze Feels so good, can't help but remind me That it was a good day, yeah Not much to do but just stay around Yeah, it was a good day I'm so glad the sun stayed around Yeah, it was a good day Not much to do but just stay around Yeah, it was a good day I'm so glad the sun stayed Feel these blues You and views all afternoon Look at all the time We don't have to give up Everything we're given is enough Moments fit together like a glove All my questions and the bodies It was a good day yeah. Not much to do but just Around. Yeah, it was a good day I'm so glad the sun stayed around Yeah, it was a good day Not much to do but just stay around Yeah, it was a good day I'm so glad the sun stayed
It's for all my folks who got legal jobs. You beat the odds, you feel me? We ain't supposed to be here, never thought we'd see it. Now we live in proof, tell the world to believe it. Congratulations, thank God we made it. They told us we was nothing, now I know they hate it. Round up applause. I ain't supposed to be nothing but a dope dealer, but a hope killer. Supposed to brag on the guns and the coke kilos, dropping mollies in a coke zero. Ashamed of my education, that I'm finally off probation. That I quit smoking, got a wife and kids, and I'm a real father, no vacancy. I'm a black man who beat them. I'm supposed to be locked up with no job. Never should've went to college or learned who God is. You added up and saw. I see, I never knew my pops. I've been abused, ran from the cops. I went to school, I on them crops. Wasn't a thug, never been shot. Running from God, man, turning my Back. Never would've made it, Marvin said But he opened up my eyes and I can't look back But they look surprised, I just took my cap Yeah, he did it, yeah. he did it yeah. He changed me and I'm with it He made me what I'm supposed to be You get close to me, you might get it We ain't supposed to be here Never thought we'd see it Now we live in proof, tell the world I'm supposed to be dead in jail right now <laughs> Congratulations But instead I'm sharing my gift with the world They told us we was nothing Now I know they Turn hate up. it Working her way through college uh, Trying to put food in her son's mouth uh, On the pole for them dollars like She was looking for some solace Told the Lord I promise I'm headed to the hills with my heels on Where the fields ain't attached to the bill foes No copy fields from no uncle fields Just Phil Jackson, coach her And get her out that game where they losing their dignity for a coach first No skirts, just skirt Found another way around the road work And left that fine establishment It's like our whole life is having a gross work She out the game and they hate it, hate it. Mad at her, she mad Haters. Ain't nothing but some shellfish in a bucket Probably get crabs if you touch it Now she graduated from college Scratch that, graduated with honors Little man got a little cap and gown Looked at him matching his mama yeah.